And of course, I gotta talk about the news of the day, which is Manchester United, the Glazer family trying to sell Manchester United to somebody, to whoever, I mean, to whoever he wants, right? So the thing is, um, the Glazer family have made this move right after the interview of Cristiano Ronaldo. Last night, the guy in the left, right, the guy in the left was uh, living out of the restaurant, right, and there were uh, some media and journalists waiting for him and asked him about that. So what he said is basically we are finding new strategic uh, moves uh, to do with Manchester United and that's it. All the things they have to say about Cristiano Ronaldo, it is he's uh, such a great player and he's done so many good things for Manchester United. I mean, he tried to dodge every single controversy with the Portuguese player. But to me, when you put on sale a club like Manchester United, right after the interview of Cristiano Ronaldo, I think that Cristiano Ronaldo is not going to be the only one leaving Manchester United. But these guys are assuming they didn't manage properly the club and now they are, they are kind of acknowledging the fact that they have to get out, whatever the way is, right? So apparently there's a group, investor group from Dubai, and they are laying on the table about $10.6 billion for the club, and they are apparently uh, asking an asking price, they are setting up an asking price of about six billion pounds, which is about uh, four, four billion euros, kind of that. Uh, I'm pretty off, I think. Well, anyways, a lot of money, right? So I don't know what is going to happen to Manchester United, but to me, the most important is they are assuming they're not doing a great job, and that's why they have to quit, okay? So let's see what happens. We will have to wait a little bit and see if they can reach a deal with somebody. I mean, I think there's there there, there will always be... There will always be uh, buyers, right, for Manchester United. I mean, I have heard about David Beckham, but... I don't know, man. I think that these guys from Dubai and Qatar and all the stuff will take over. I'm pretty sure of that.